Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Hey, we're going to give a 10-day update on Viper bugging. Went out to California and retrieved him from A&C Performance out there. Todd. Of course, Todd is one of the gurus of the Viper world. And even though I hate to send stuff off, I knew that he was the man for me. We were already dealing with a unique Viper with a lot of money invested in it done by KP Racing, Viper Exchange, and several others. We were running 840 at the rear tires. That was uh, with 93 uh, pump gas. And uh, this car participated in the 2017 Power Tour. It did the entire 3,000 miles. Of course, we broke the snout on the crank at the blower pulley. It separated in two, and of course, we needed to redo the motor and send it out there. Uh, I like fast buggies. This one's really fast. Orange Challenger over there race buggy is pretty quick. And that one's pretty quick too. They got me doing 135 up 35 over there by the raceway. North Lake Cop. Didn't think it was too funny. But I was in a hurry that day. So here we are. It's about 55 degrees. January the 28th here in Fort Worth, Texas. So it's kind of cold. Cloudy. Rained all night long. And I'm going to jump in here and try to start it. Todd did some really, really far out tuning measures with the original computer and had to pull some special tricks. We've got this Paxson going over 13 PSI, 12, 13, approaching 16, which is unheard of for that device, Paxton Novi 2000. So, we're going to hop on in here and see if it starts like a street car should on a cold, rough, watered down morning.
we got a new crank in it. We kept the Carrillo rods. He went with his special pistons. Mine were originally domed a little bit, and these are flat tops. And then he bumped up the cam, which is his special grind. This thing is a rocket ship, and it accelerates like an F-16 off a catapult off of an aircraft carrier. It accelerates at about the same velocity. No shit. No shit. I was thinking about it the other day. I've done over probably 20 motor swaps in vehicles. I've paid to have some done. Done some myself, by myself. Done some with friends. And done some where I spent a lot of money. Every single time it had issues and problems and quirks some failed before i even got home had a jeep left me stranded an f-350 that left me stranded before i even got back to the house after doing motor jobs by reputable people of course there's countless b-body road runners Gedexes, and super b's i've done but i have yet to find a flaw she runs beautifully and just like my prior videos it is absolutely flawless and the work that Todd and his crew did uh well fuck I find fault with everything I don't give a shit who you are I'm gonna find fault and I'm still trying to find fucking fault and I can't do it God bless you God bless America and happy Moparin'.